A few weeks ago, I was on my way up to Manchester and a notification came on my phone from BBC Sport saying that Chris Kirchner, an American businessman, had agreed a deal with Quantuma, the joint administrators of Derby County, to take over the club from Mel Morris and take them out of administration, leading the club into a new era. Fast forward to now, and that takeover still hasn't happened. And the main stumbling block is the sale of Pride Park Stadium, which as an asset is not owned by Derby County Football Club, it is owned separately by Mel Morris. It's understandable that Kirchner wants the entirety of Derby County. He wants all the assets, including Pride Park Stadium, in his deal. However, it's proving a little bit difficult because, as I just mentioned, the stadium doesn't belong to the football club. The stadium belongs to Mel Morris and his business. It's safe to say that Mel Morris's ownership of Derby County didn't go according to plan. Mel Morris, of course, a Derby fan, Derby born and bred. And he had what appeared to be a coherent business plan to take Derby County back into the Premier League. This was nearly achieved most recently under Frank Lampard when he was manager. And there were a couple of playoff uh, positions during Mel Morris's tenure as Derby County owner. The reason being that coming back up into the Premier League, where they haven't been since they were relegated with the lowest ever Premier League points tally, if they come back down, they will receive a series of parachute payments, which will really help bolster the coffers. Mel Morris took a gamble, and the gamble didn't pay off, and it put Derby County into financial dire straits. Derby County fans are still understandably incredibly worried about the situation of their club. It is precarious. I would urge Derby County fans to keep on at Mr Morris. Peacefully, yet forcefully, to get that stadium sold. There are a couple of alternatives. The stadium could be leased to Chris Kirchner. Or indeed, another bidder. Because the takeover hasn't been finalised, anyone can still come in and say, I want to buy Derby County. Mike Ashley, of course, has long been touted with a move to buy the club. Uh, however, nothing has been finalised yet. Of course, Kirchner was named preferred bidder. But Mike Ashley could still come in and do it. The other alternative is for the local council, Derby City Council to buy Pride Park Stadium, which again, an option I would urge them to look at doing because in the first video I made about Derby County, I outlined just how much money Derby County Football Club contributes to Derbyshire, economically speaking. The sale of Pride Park is the main stumbling block until the Derby County takeover can fully be finalised. Derby County fans need to remain patient, but they also need to be worried. Because, even still, with the preferred bidder in place, liquidation is still a very serious possibility. Derby County fans need to be saying to Mel Morris, help us save the club that you supposedly love.